Hello everyone and welcome to another Anachronism video and until I get the package from the States, I ordered uh, another one, this will be the last one for now. But uh, until then, um, yeah, there are plenty more videos to be released. So let's take a look here, we have Alarich, another Germanic uh, warrior, male, um, something I can pronounce at last. Uh, we have a attack grid again, uh, plus two, minus two, plus zero element of wind. And he has eight health, three speed, eight experience and one strength. The experience uh, reflects his training in the Roman army. Right, uh, let's take a look at his story first. And um, before we start, I don't really know a lot about Alarich, except that he is uh, from, yeah. He has quite a part in uh, later century, the, in the last centuries of Rome. I think the, even the last century, not multiple. Um, and that it was shortly after that the fall of Rome initiated. So, um, after rising through the ranks in the Roman army, Alarich was made king of the Goths by the men in his ranks, who raised him up on a shield to protect claim their independence from the mighty Roman Empire. In the years that followed, he marched on Constantinople, Athens, Sparta and Corinth, uh, conquering vast swaths of territory throughout uh, Europe. Using skills learned from his time in the Roman legions, he advanced to Italy and ultimately sacked Rome herself. She, who had been a mistress of the world, now lay at the feet of the Goths. Alarich brings a calculated understanding of strategy along with lessons learned from decades of warfare to the anachronism arena. He strives to achieve great goals with relentless determination, never stopping or settling for less than his desires. Use this King of the Visigoths uh, to bring your enemies to their knees. Okay, uh, now that I have read it, um, the sack of Rome. It could be a uh, multiple because Rome had been sacked a couple of times. Um, Visigoths, it's not the Vandals. Um, I'm guessing the year 410 AD. That was one of the sack of Rome's. I'm guessing that was it. So it wasn't the end because that was because of Attila. Uh, but this was a end. No, it wasn't even. Was it by Attila? No. Partly by Attila. Well, Odoacer. That was the last one. I just mix up all the years of my uh, late Roman imperial history. I am an expert on um, late Republic and, 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 and early Empire. But this is... Um, of course, I have read about it, and, and I just keep mixing up names from that era. So, I will know a couple of things about it, but not everything, as I did with uh, Arminius. So, what do we have here? We have Zerstörer von Rom, uh, the destroyer of Rome. After an ability on a Roman card is used, deal one damage to the warrior using that ability. Oh my goodness, this is my Achilles heel. Literally, because I play Julius Caesar when I play. I mean, of course, Julius Caesar, the greatest Roman of all. And this one will damage him. Oh, my goodness. After being crowned king of the Goths and proclaiming independence from the mighty Roman Empire, he proceeded to conquer vast swaths of territory throughout Europe and ultimately sack Rome herself. We will take a look at, ooh, nice, Heimdall, guardian of the gods. Look at that, blowing his horn with the rainbow beyond it. Oh, very cool, which was the bridge of the gods. And here are the giants, the Jotun. Oh, that is interesting. It's the, what was it called again? The Bif, Bif, Bifrost Bridge. Bifrost, I think. Yeah. All right, so let's take a look here. Uh, for four initiative, we have an inspiration, a deity. Wachsamkeit. Um, vigilance. It means vigilance. You cannot be damaged by any opponent outside of that opponent's turn. Ooh. 
Right, as the Watchman of the Gods, Heimdall can see 100 leagues in every direction and can even hear grass grow. That's interesting. Uh, he is the god of light and guards Bifrost. Yes, I, I, I told you guys, Bifrost. Uh, the only entrance to Asgard. At the final conflict of uh, Ragnarok, he will kill his age-old enemy, the evil god Loki. Yes, the trickster. Then we have as a uh, weapon a polearm, Gear, with an attack grid that is uh, long range and close range, but it's less effective at close range. Two strength, five initiative, and it is, uh, let's see, Aufgestaute Wut. Um, Aufgestaute, um, I don't know what that means. Wut? Is it like anger? In Dutch, woede, or is it like wood, as in wood, the material? Interesting. Um, after you hit with this weapon, if the attack roll uh, was greater than the defender's experience, this weapon deals uh, plus one damage for the rest of the game. Fighting with Roman legions as Fuderati, foreign troops under Roman command, Alarich learned tactics that he eventually turned against the very empire that had taught him organized warfare. Wolfsfell, wolf hide for six. We have the um, ability, it is a torso of course, uh, Wolfschlauer. Wolf means wolf, of course. Schlauer, I don't know what Schlauer means. Is that uh, like uh, cunning? Something like that? Uh, in Dutch, slew. Hmm. At the start of each round, uh, if your experience is less than each opponent's initiative for this round, you may move up to uh, one space and your defense rolls this round gain plus one. Right, able to deal with the harsh winter uh, weather of northern European winters, local irregular troops were often used by the Roman Empire to suppress rebellions and uprisings in nearby provinces. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nothing to uh, to add to that. Um, and then we have uh, the Salarische Tour, which is um, the Salarisian uh, Gate. Tour means gate, uh, or in Dutch, deur, or port. Uh, five initiative, it is a special location. And this is actually a gate, the Black Gate, which is still Salarian Gate. It, it still exists. Beautiful. Um, what ability does it have? Grosser Einmarsch, the Great March, Great One March, something like that. At the end of each round, uh, if an opponent used a reveal ability this round, your attack rolls gain plus two this round. All right. With the death of Stilicho, the armies of the Roman Empire were left without a leader capable of stopping Alarich from advancing on Rome itself. Alarich pierced Rome's defenses at the northeast Salarian Gate, and with that, the city fell. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I have read about Stilicho, uh, leader of uh, the Roman armies, but yeah, he died. He did. And I think it was during 410, something like that. Hmm. Interesting. I, I I don't remember. Gonna have to look that up. Well, it doesn't matter for the game anyway. Uh, there you have it. Another pack of anachronism opened, and I really like that they included the old uh, Germanic gods Heimdall, and in the previous ones as well, like Freya and uh, Tiwas. Oh, great! I love it. Thank you all for watching. Um, join these Patreons in the list uh, to support the channel even more. Um, or if you don't want to, uh, that's that's fine. Just support it by clicking the like button, subscribe, and leaving a comment down below. Thank you all for watching, and see you all next time. Bye bye.